I can fight a kangaroo. I can take a kangaroo. I can take a lion. You have me on your team. We're not losing. I can take a kangaroo and a lion by like at the same time. So I can definitely take a zombie. You know how to shoot a gun? What? Do you know how to shoot a gun? Do I know how to shoot a gun? Yes. I know how to, I know how to shoot these guys. You know you're the widest black person ever met. My credits were worth three points. Oh my god. A lot of episodes for us to be doing with us. Let's be pussy popping yet. And yeah, we're gonna be pussy popping. Papa locking here soon. But without further ado, welcome back to the Bros on Podcast episode 11. Everybody, hope you have a great day. Back with my nigga EB. And we got chasing the scenes. How's your week been, brother? Fuck your century. Gotta keep the, the vibes high. Gotta keep the spirits high. The mood going, Evie. I work a nine to five. It's not been great. I'm hyped up, ready to go, bro. You're I'm like, never hyped. You got off work, bro. Fuck! I just got off work an hour ago. Not hype. That shit takes all your energy. People. It's not even. Wrong. It's not even work. It's people. God. That's what customer service does to you. See, yes. Let me tell you. Being nice all day so sucks. So let me tell you, retail. Is ass, my friend. Yes. And customers are always right. That is the number one person. And with that comes great responsibility. See, in the grocery store, they will always be right. I understand that, right? Is it not the right with you? It's right until they come back. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's the right one, sir. Here you go. Until it ain't. Three hours later, I need my money back. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Big head. I can imagine how many times that happens to you because we've, I've had that myself happen several times where that's just like the wrong part or whatever and I just bought it for no reason. I've had people call and ask for a part and tell them we can't get it and they get all pissy. Like, I got it for this car. Yeah. Your 2015 car I can get it for, but your 19 fucking 30 car, no. A car that we don't make parts for anymore, that's just not gonna happen. You're gonna pay shipping. Ah. I don't want it, sorry. Whatever, fucker. <sighs> So what have you done this week? Anything interesting? You got anything planned this weekend? Not going anywhere? I, I, should, I should think we're going to the pool this weekend with somebody. I don't remember who though. The cool pool? Yeah. Oh, Cor wanted to go to the, this place that they eat. It's called um Who Dads. Who Dads? No, Who Dads. Oh, Who Dads? It's like Cajun food. Like camping outside Who Dad? No, I'm not like Who Dad gonna be them saints? Who Dad, motherfucker? <laughs> but it's like Cajun food, and it's right next to where my mom lives. So we were gonna. Cajun food, as in, like shrimp. Like gumbo. Oh, like yeah. real. Yeah. But we're not in Louisiana, but it is. We're, we are down south, though. Yeah, it's. It's the fucking boot food. Yeah, facts. facts. It's good, though. Usually. If you if you know how to make it right, any Louisiana food's good. You? But the only way you can make it right is just fucking. Spice, 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 spice. Cayenne, cayenne, cayenne. Ice, spice. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm doing really important this week. I might try to hit the gym. I might try to hit the gym a minimum of three times this week. I'll let you guys know how that went next week. I need to go. I went. Fuck. I went that one time with EB, and I have not been back since. That gym was mid, 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 mid. Also, knows I haven't eaten as much because I looked in the mirror today. I was like, man, you looking slender. What the fuck? Dude, literally same. A week ago, I looked fat as fuck. I looked in the mirror. I was like, goddamn it. Two shits can make you feel. You're looking feel a lot lighter. Fuck yeah. Better dunk. I don't know about me, I'm white. That's true. White boys cannot jump. No. It's what? Did you ever watch that movie? Yeah. I never watched that movie. Really? But then again, I never watched a lot of like, you know... They even came out with a new one. With Jack Harlow. I remember somebody talking about that. I still didn't watch it. Uh -huh. But then again, I'm also one of those people who never really watched a lot of those childhood movies. Like, I never watched one of your favorite Star Wars. Never watched... Star Trek, what's, what's the other I, I understand tar, Star Trek, but Star Wars. The Hobbit. Huh. Um, what's some other big ones that people watch? You at least uh, watch Harry Potter. At least Harry Potter's just Star Wars with wizards, but. Have you watched it? Yes. I have, haven't. Have I'm you not. ever watched Jurassic Park, at least? No. I, I, I want to say, maybe as a kid they played it at school, but never on my own, at my own house, have I ever watched that movie. Never one Jurassic Park, and was there another one? I don't Jurassic, know if we can be friends. What's the other one, Jurassic Park 2? Yeah, Jurassic Park. One, two, there's and there's more? yeah, there's three, and then there's Jurassic World, one, two, three, and like four. Never, no, never. Watched I don't know. Those. If, I don't know if we be friends, cause you know me, I, I like dinosaurs. Okay, so let's talk about childhood, childhood series that we have watched. We all watched Home Alone. That's yeah. Gas time. What else we got? What is the series? Um, yeah. See, I don't really watch Home Alone. Really alone. That's all you've watched. That's all I've watched. The Shrek. Shrek. Kid, kid movies. I've never watched like the traditional ones. Like you at least watched like Nemo. I've watched Nemo. Lion King? I've watched most of the Lion King. How many is there? Like two? Yeah. Okay, then I'm watching. And then, like, I think they made a new live action one. Live action sounds crazy. I, I haven't watched, watched that. 
But okay, so what is? Am I missing out anything on any of those I just named? Like Star Wars? Yes. Harry Potter? Eh. The Hobbit? Yes. Is that the one with the ring or? Yes. My precious. Yeah, that's the Lord of the Rings and the my Hobbit. My precious. They're really good movies. Watch them. I never really seen I them guarantee like, you can watch them for free on fucking something. I just never like wanted to. Only thing I know about Star Wars is from Family Guy. All right, we're gonna have a fucking, <laughs> we're gonna have a movie night, and you're gonna show up so we can watch some movies. I mean, I'll even bring some liquor if at least get you in, you know, get you to come over. Get me locked into it. And but, oh man, <laughs> fucking good movie right there. Okay, well that was a great little intro. With how he's gonna be, and apparently I'm not watching any movies that everybody watches as a child. No. So I'm just useless. Great. Yeah. <laughs> what you know? What let's talk about holidays now. What are some useless holidays? Like we're talking about, if we're being realistic, what is like President's Day? Yeah, I was never say that. Like, why, why are we celebrating all presidents? Only, only like national, like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. What are their big presidents? And they're already glazing them on Mount Rushmore. Like the first one, he wasn't even like. I guess that good of a president, just the first one, and then arguably Lincoln's the best president we've had. I mean, we literally already glazed all them on Mount Rushmore. I think he's the only one that... Lincoln? Yeah, he's the only one that did something positive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the rest of them, like, why do we remember them? Can anybody name what Lincoln did that was positive for the United States? Our last president is going to prison, so, like, why are we celebrating <laughs> He is going God to jail. <laughs> I don't, I, there's no way he doesn't get jail time. I don't know. We'll 34 see. felonies? That's insane. Uh, he won't be able to run. What's your... What would you say your favorite holiday is? Wait, wait, wait. No, I have another useless one. Like, what is Halloween celebrated for? Like, realistically, what are we celebrating? I think back in the day it was something... It's like Day about, of the Dead or it, something? It was, no, that's... that's a Cinco de Mayo? Uh, or some shit. No, the Spanish do uh, Day of the Dead. Okay. But so, uh, I think ours came from, like, a different... Came from, like, pagan beliefs. They used to believe in a demon that would come up, so they put masks on and shit. So they, so he couldn't, so he couldn't, yeah. Hmm. And now we just celebrate it as a day where all of our kids dress up candy. as dumb and get candy. I don't mind. I like candy. Another one, like what's St. Patrick's Day? What is that? That's St. Patrick. You don't have green. Like, bro, come on, bro. Well, yeah, my, every every like holiday's gotten fucking over the thousands of years that they've probably been trying to do. We're getting fucked up somewhere. Christmas is supposed to be about Jesus' yeah, birthday. Jesus. There's nothing to celebrate Jesus' birthday. Not 95% wake up, Santa! Yeah. So that's like more coming on to that. What are your favorite holidays? Christmas. Because you get? Gifts. And, I mean... I love Thanksgiving. Oh, I love food. That one's kind of useless too, I guess, but... What? That one's kind of useless too. Yeah, what was it supposed to be? So I mean, I... Between it, the pilgrims and the Indians making a big feast, uh -huh. it's useless because gives me a reason. Celebration gives me a reason to eat like a fucking fat ass and drink. So I don't mind. It's a good holiday for that reason. What are the other ones? Um, Fourth of July. That makes sense though. Yeah, have drinking, partying, having fun. I don't know. That's fucking America's birthday. America. It really is. I forgot about it actually. Independence Day. Memorial Day makes a. Yeah. That one makes sense. Other than that, I don't really know. I no. can't think of any more holidays. <clears throat> how much would it cost? Like, would you have to get paid to work some of the nastiest jobs ever? Like, how much would it cost for you to clean a jail cell? No, a matter of fact, how about, how about, right, a jail shower floor. How much do you have to get paid for that? Two grand. A week? Like, do you do this once a week? Fuck yeah. A fucking hour. Fuck <sighs> that. Dude. Actually, there's something that like we did the other day that I thought about. That's actually it was kind of fun. Okay. It, it was cleaning stuff. It was our cars. Yeah, that's a that's we a had satisfying a, job. We had a dude. lot of fun detailing my car, her car. Dude, I would love to be a car detailer. They make first of all, it it costs way too much money. That's what a lot of people don't do it around here. Well, not really. If you think of it, one car pays for most of the supplies you used on it. I'm talking about it costs too much for like most people don't buy from you because it costs so much. Yeah. I think me and Cora were talking about, we were like, do we want us to start doing detailing outside? Because I was like, this was not bad. It's not as easy. Actually, I enjoy having great fun. That's why I clean my car literally three times a week. Here's the video right now. And fucking cleaning the car, it's, I mean, it is expensive to go buy all the stuff you need to do for it. 
at Do you first. Hand wash your car? Yeah, we did. But uh, like in the inside, we have the we use the Bissell to clean. Like my fucking floorboards are horrible, mm -hmm. and it, it they're clean. My car don't smell like mold no more. Got all that mold out. I mean, my car is like almost brand new, other than the headliner. Can't can't get it out of that. It's not bad though. I mean, you got everything else. You can easily charge somebody three hundred bucks for a detail. That's how much most people will charge for. I mean, Monday, that moonlight. And I looked at her. I was like, we could charge motherfuckers one hundred fifty bucks, two hundred bucks, just to get it fucking going. She's like, how much you think Char Trey would charge for a detail? I was like, he's not cleaning his own car. Like, hundred bucks. Mm. That's for like, that's for like, that motherfucker would be spotless on the inside right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's as much as Trey's pay, but everybody else that around here, fuck them, three hundred bucks. Oh, you talking about for you to clean my car? Yeah. My car's already. Like, I know it's usually clean, but well, if you, like if you I let it get somebody, clean. Uh, the, well, my, the most dirty my car gets, like the longest it takes me. To detail my car, like just to vacuum it, like de detail vacuum it and wipe everything with down wipes, it takes me 20 minutes. I, the most I would pay somebody is maybe like a dollar a minute, so maybe 25 dollars. We fucking, it, we did, we went like beyond. Like my trunk had a bunch of this like this nasty shit on it, mm -hmm. and it was just from sitting there. And I took it, got this, this interior cleaner we bought at Walmart the other day, the chemical guy stuff, mm -hmm. it'll clean fucking anything. I was cleaning the inside of my trunk like this. this Spotless. It was like it was like green and had like moss on it. Had that shiny sound to it. And it fucking. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> you seen your father in that shit? Fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah. And her car looks fucking like it. like it just came back off the lot. Lucky like you drove it out the lot, hey. Mine doesn't. Mine looks like I can tell it. Like used car lot, but. Dude, you know what is a crazy milestone that just recently happened? Huh. Mr. Beast. Has officially become the number one subscriber to YouTuber in the world. Round of applause, Mr. Beast. Who did you just beat? T Series. Oh. And after they beat PewDiePie six years ago, he finally avenged PewDiePie and beat the, the Indians. What's we dude, beat the Indians. What's dude perfect at? Fifty. I feel like they've had fifty for a long time. They. Every video doesn't get a crazy amount of views, but yeah, 50 right. million. Did they fall off, but not fall off because they're still making more views than most people? The only people that watch them now is like their loyal subscribers. So. 50,000 of them. No, they get like at least a million per video. What is hard, EB? To make a three-pointer in the NBA mm -hmm. or to throw a pass in the NFL? And then I'm going to ask Chase after this. His, his question. Three-pointer. Which is harder? Mm -hmm. The field doesn't get bigger. I mean, Your three-point shot gets farther away. If you're going from high school ball to college ball, it goes back like two feet. And if you're going from college yeah. ball to NBA, it's going back like another two feet. You know, feet. that's not how I was looking. That's a really good way to So when you it. think your high school fucking threes, that you're like, yeah, that bitch was deep. That's a fucking, oh, yeah, that's a mid-range. Like college and NBA, yeah. That's a mid-range back in. It is. And football, I mean, you just, if you can throw a good spiral and fucking, like, high school, surely to God you can throw a decent one in NFL football. That's a great, that's a great way to look at it, but I also look at like I mean that's exactly the way you should look at it because the percentages is for people who make three pointers in the NBA like everybody the highest three point percentage is thirty five percent. Huh? Curry. That's it. Thirty five percent from the field. That's that's crazy to think about. Like average and an average for a quarterback like a, a pass completion is seventy percent. Yeah. So it's obviously easier to. It's fucking pass. double. Literally more than double. Think about it more. People don't make half their shots, and more guys make more throws. That's insane. When I was thinking about that, when I was originally thinking that, I was like, I don't know because you get more. But when I when you really run it back in detail, break it down, think about it like that. That's yeah. I guess it is hard for a football player because you're gonna get brain damage, but yeah, you get two hits and you're done for the whole season. But yeah, that's a good way to look at it for sure. I got a dilemma for you. Wait, actually, Chase, wait, Chase. What do you what do you think is harder, Chase? Oh, three-pointer, bro. Make a three-pointer three in the base harder? Three-pointer is hard as fuck to make regardless. It really is. And like, literally, like you said, it, like in the NBA or in the high school, like, it's like 23 feet. It's I feel like I'd be okay in NBA threes. Yeah, because you don't jump when you I don't jump on a regular three. three. You probably would be jumping. That's a, like a, that's a free throw. You, you, know, you probably have to be perfect in the NBA three-pointer. I'm going to take you to a court one day. Because I, I overshoot like a motherfucker. Doom. And I'm not, I'm not that strong, so I don't understand. But it's like, it's like, it's, it's either like perfect aim and over, or it's perfect like range, no accuracy. That that literally sounds about right. And I can't jump. 
If you do jump, it's hitting the, in the glass, it's going to be a back of the backboard, boom, and it's going to go in somehow. I'll be pissed. But I got a dilemma for you, my friend. All right. So, <clears throat> this girl said, I pray for a good looking man. <laughs> I pray for a good looking man with money to give me healthy kids. <laughs> to give me healthy kids. Joshua is fine, but he cheats. He hustles women for money. <clears throat> me, me too. Like he hustles her too. Our two kids are healthy, but are ugly. Is there a reverse bill to this? So he gets he no, gets okay. good money and healthy kids. I mean, that's what, I'm gonna break it down for you. She was praying for a good looking man. Yeah. They give her healthy kids, and that's really all she wanted. He cheats a lot yeah. on her, hustles women for money, like her, and their kids are healthy but ugly. Can she reverse it? What does she do? I mean, there's nothing you can do about the ugly kids, I guess. They're healthy. They're she, healthy. She said a good looking man. Her man could be healthy. The kids are healthy. They're not good looking. But see, he's, he's good looking enough to hustle other women. So she, she needs a slightly uglier man, still good looking though, with kids that have they look like him. Okay. They're not horrible looking, mm -hmm. but they're healthy too. But she's like, obviously she needs. She's not okay with that because she's okay with him cheating. Yeah. She's okay with him hustling him, getting her bag, and she got healthy kids, but they're, they're ugly. ugly. So I mean, she either deals with the healthy ugly kids, or she gets out of there because she's she's getting cheated on anyway. She's getting hustled. She's okay with it. She likes him. He's probably she got like 30 kids. other kids. Oh, for sure. And he's making bang from all the girls he's hustling. So, I mean, she needs to figure it out. Yeah. That's on her. That's, your, that's your problem, hon. Now, I got a crazy movie review for you. Huh? Okay. I got a crazy <laughs> movie review for you. There you go. I'm talking too fast. I gotta... I'm, gonna, uh, uh, I'm leaving that in. But yeah, okay. So, we went to the movies this weekend. <clears throat> this movie was called The Strangers. It's supposed to be a really good movie. I didn't think it would be. I never heard anything about it. We just went to the movies off a of whim. We're like, okay, we'll pick something right there. Boom. We're watching this movie, right? This is the part one. Wait for it. Take it out of the So you're expecting some kind of ending, right? Okay. So basically, this is a couple. They're right down the road. This is how, how it starts off. A couple's right down the road. They need to get off the road. They want something to eat, right? They pull off the road. This dude or this couple, they get out the car. Across, this is a small little town. Maybe... You know, 75 people. Everybody knows everybody, right? Like Shirley. Small. But bigger. Or smaller, There's I guess. one little diner, one, one, like, mechanic garage, right? That's true. That's, it's it. But there's just more people that live there. <laughs> As they get out of the car, the, um, the mechanic is in there. He has nothing else to do. Staring right at them. At their, their brand new car. Nothing wrong with it. They, the dude is already sketched out. Doesn't want to stop. But he's hungry. So they just want to stop. Get some food real quick. He, he just wants to get out of there. As quick as possible. By the time they get out from eating... Their car all of a sudden doesn't start. He knows it could be a trap, sketched out, knows it's a scam, is trying to get out of there like he's trying to, he's on their ass, right? Mm -hmm. The wife's like, no, you're being overacting. So, blah, well, yada, yada. She gas likes the fuck out of him. <laughs> Long story short, there's one Airbnb in this entire town. It's owned by the mechanic's friend. They get a ride from the diner, from the waitress to the diner, they go to this house. They have no car, right? Because they get a ride, they get dropped off. <laughs> and also, by the way, this is all based off a true story. So, they get to the Airbnb. Lights get cut. No power. Middle of nowhere. 75 miles. or not 75. Maybe 15 miles in the middle of nowhere. All trees. They go... Three people pop up across the house in mask. All over the different house. You pull it up. Give me a cast real quick. There was a different... The Strangers. There's a different, like, series of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, back in 2018. Because I remember. Oh, it is just like that. Dude, I'm going to check this out. Yeah, with the crazy masks and everything? Yeah. I remember, I'm when, gonna this, watch this. I remember when this stuff came out. I don't know why they rebooted it. I don't know who any of these motherfuckers are. Let me see. So for the cast, we got, for the main characters, for Ryan, he's the main dude right here. He's the husband. He's the guy who sketched out the entire time. We got Froy... Guterres, sorry if I butchered that. And then his wife, Madeline Pesh. She's the gaslighter. Uh, let's see. The that, gaslighter. That's the mechanic. That makes sense. He's actually, he's a really good, like, bad guy actor. And then the rest of the people, probably people with the mask, right? So that's the general people. Was um, there a bunch of people with masks in this one? There's three. So, 
they cut the power, there's no service in their middle of nowhere, right? They get hide in the room, throw an action there, they find out their house. It's the killers walk out of the house, they start taunting them, playing musicals, but um but um scary shit. They run out of the house, these idiots decide to run into the shed. Uh oh, one's hiding in the shed waiting for them. But they found a 12 gauge shotgun hiding in there. I guess it was the owners of the Airbnbs. He happened to leave it there. Now, during this all going on, I'm thinking that the killers on this Airbnb, there's they set it up. Now, as they're, they're gonna run, they get the shotgun, mm -hmm. they leave the shed, they decide to go back into the house instead of running into the woods, getting out of there. First of all, that's, that's their first mistake. They run into the house, they hear noises, they hear them still playing music, right? So they start slowly creeping around the house, they get ready to go in, and the homeowner shows up. They, they think he's got the mask. He turns around the corner, boom, blows the on the porch. Look down there, no mask. That was the homeowner. But he pulled up in his Jeep. They went over there, went to start his Jeep, get out of there. One of the masked guys hit their car. So now, there is a scenario where they start running in the woods. If I remember this correctly off the old ones from a couple years ago, it's the exact same story. This is part one. Because it, it's both, but yeah, there's three chapters in that one. I'm going to have to watch it again. Because it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it was the same masks and everything, but it was based off like a cult. This is based on a true story. Yeah, so it was the other one. Huh, it, gonna, it was, it was like really based wonder. off a cult in that small town. I don't think they make the exact same movie. It's probably a different story, but pretty similar. I don't think they make the exact same movie again, because this is a new movie that came out in theaters. I don't know, this one was like back in the 20s. I know, I seen you look at it, the same, like, the masks look exactly the same. It was based off a true story, but it was based off a cult in the town, and they would, like, do that. That's... And then I'm pretty sure the girl, the girl survived? This is where it cuts off. I was like, I was getting to it. Yeah. They're running into the woods. The dude, the, we didn't get to see this part. It cut off before this. But the dude, and then this is what they showed us in the trailer, the previews. Mm -hmm. The dude's running, and he's looking behind him, and then I don't know where he falls, and then there's three people surrounded with axes, and then we, his, the wife wakes up, and she's in the hospital. It cuts off. See, I'm pretty life. sure how it, it went in the other ones is that she survived and he died, and she became a part of that cult. It's weird. I don't know. Mm -mm. Me and Cora like watching scary movies, but she hates watching scary movies. I, I'm not really a fan of scary movies. Because she she goes because we've watched all the Conjurings, mm -hmm. and then the new one, the newest one came out on Netflix, and she's like, we have to watch it. And as she starts watching, she goes, never mind, we can't watch this. I was like, no, we're gonna watch. It. We're gonna watch the whole fucking thing. Dude, whenever we first did it, I was like, I don't know, I'm not really a scary person myself, but it was a good ass movie. All right, I got a game movie. <laughs> And we're gonna, we're gonna just go as I far as we you were in here. Hi, Rez. We're gonna go as far as we can. Ready? Okay, so it's basically it's called the alphabet game. And we're each gonna say a sentence starting with, the, with the, the next letter of the alphabet, right? And yes, we're gonna have to do based off the same story. You have to keep the story going. Huh? This ain't gonna go farther and see, like, motherfucker. Like, Aunt Susie went to the park. Bill joined her to play basketball. Like, we're just gonna, you have to make it a story. We're gonna keep going. Ready? Uh huh. Alright. <laughs> Andrew had a dog. Billy showed up with his. Chasing him around the room, and that shit was crazy. Why am I in rhythm? I think I can go. See, I want to start it with the. You're on D. I know, I want to start it with the, then the D word, but I can't. You mean, you have my figure right here? Yeah. Don't let them break anything, or they're gonna be in trouble. F. Huh? Do your ABCs real quick. You didn't finish high school, I forgot. I'm not even singing, that's the worst part. I gotta sing. Alright, is an E. EB walked in with his Connie Corso. Dude. You, want me, you want me to hop in? Yeah. Fuck. The other dog shit in the floor. Great, now I gotta clean it up. Hell with cleaning it up. I guess I'll do it then. I don't, I gotta do my ABCs now. <laughs> Just kidding, clean that shit up, that's nasty. K is a hard video, I don't even know a K word. You want me to jump in? Yeah. Kill that piece of shit, dog. Launch his ass across the room, then. Man, that dog flew like a motherfucker. No, you won't even believe the way that nigga flew, though. 
You tripping for you? You know what we're on? Oh? Yeah. Ops pulled up and they was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Pull out the piece. Quick, get in the house. What's that your cue? Right. Run, bitch! Run! Sit down behind the couch and be quiet. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Shut the fuck up. It's T after S, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Fucking idiot. I didn't hear the thud. Wait, T. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Under the bed, they won't see us. Very quiet, they're coming. Hmm. W? Yeah. Wait, I think they're outside. What's after W? X. The fuck starts with X? Extremely quiet. Be extremely quiet. Yeah, we spelled that wrong. Is it? Is that X? No, it's E. Oh. E X. What is X? Like, there's no X words. We're using extreme. Fuck X. Yeah. Not, not X and Tasha. Sorry, X. That's my nigga, though. Um, um, why? Nah, I'll finish it off. Man, you should go fuck them up. Who cares a fuck about them? The zebras are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. I, I, there's nothing for the zebra. Like, come on. Okay, let me break down our story. Okay, so apparently, um, Andrew pulled up with, and who brought their dog? Bill, who'd you say? Yeah, you said Bill or something. No, you said B. I said Andrew pulled up with his dog, and you said somebody did. I think you said Bill pulled up with him too. And then it went from them getting launched up the house. Yeah, the dog shit in the house. So the, the ops pulled they up. They killed the dog. The ops pulled up. We ran back in the house. We and hide under the bed. And said, fuck them. And then we had to be quiet. And the zebras were cool. Yeah. That was a great story. What do you guys think about that one? That was dog shit. That's the outfit game. We're going to come back with that again because we, we can do way better. We really can. Fuck yeah, we can. I don't know why. We just couldn't think of this right now. See, like, as I was going, I could think of way more. So we're going to do the next I gotta have, I have to have the alphabet, like, pulled up pulled next up. time. I'm going to have it ready for us next time. We're going to have a piece of paper. We're going to have a circle of what we're going to be. And we can I made fun of you for fucking up an E, and then I fucked up, like, three <laughs> fucking letters later. later. Uh, all right, Evie, so I decided I'm going to go to Vegas. Yeah, I'm going to become a poker millionaire, and I'm going to start a, a honey bun factory. A uh, what? A what? honey what's bun? Yep, yeah, after I make $3 million playing poker. Can you really make a honey bun factory? $3 million bucks? If you win, be a honey bun connoisseur. You win, if you win millions, better buy me a fucking scat pack. Well, I'm gonna be floating with honey buns. You're gonna be able to buy any any, any car you want to, Evie. You'll be able to buy Porsche some honey buns. Fucking honey, honey buns. buns. Like, like I'm in a strip club. Oh fuck. You, well, you gotta come over. You, you gotta come you, over after you get hey, fucking. You know how it is. If you're with somebody when you're like gambling, you I'm gonna get a percent just for being there. That's what I am, at least. I ain't got no money to go. Oh, well. So I'm saying, if we can't go, just come back, we'll get drunk. You That's fair. Yeah, you're 21 this year, right? I'm going to be fucked up while I'm there. If I make it back, I'm going to be <laughs> <famous>. <laughs> Who would win? A giraffe? Better not be you versus some bullshit again. Me? Yeah, you always pick the stupidest fucking animal to fight. A chicken versus a lion? You're fucking stupid. I can take a lion. I can take a lion. No, I couldn't. No. Two of my bare hands. I'm taking the lion. Not a chicken? No. Fuck that chicken. Pick my eye out real quick. Not a chicken. Yeah, but the lion ain't gonna eat your ass. Okay. He might. Okay, would you rather have a lion or a giraffe? Giraffe? No, you're not being serious. EB. I'd rather get my legs broken by that long ass neck than eating. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's a power swing. Mm -hmm. If it catch you with that, it's like playing jump rope. If you don't jump over his neck, you're done. See, so you could jump. What the fuck are you gonna do against the lion? You gonna run? No. You gonna jump? I mean, no. I, I could take him, but you're five foot two, having ass is not taking a lion. Okay, no, okay. More realistically, do you, would you rather fight a giraffe or a kangaroo? Giraffe. He fucks me up easy. A, what a kangaroo? No, a giraffe. Oh, a giraffe. Wait, you said you you rather fight a giraffe. Yeah, he hits me and I'm fucking on the ground. He's done, right? So why'd you rather fight him? Because the kangaroo, he's just gonna. <laughs> oh, like square up with you and like size you up. Fucking jinxy <laughs> kick you every two minutes. They break, they fuck up, they break <laughs> ribs going, with them motherfuckers. He's like, 
What's up? Giraffe keeps in the. Dude, they play kickboxing. Have you seen them, motherfuckers? Bounce your face off the wall. You seen them square up? They're fucking jacked. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Well, he like stand on his tail and like they, square they, up they, on they, you. Yeah, they do this and then they. I swear if you walk up. I swear to God. Like, let's go. I swear to God. Dude, like you think he's gonna check up with you. Oh my god. Oh Kangaroo. Uh, what, 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 Dude, like he's like bouncing on his tail, like, come on. Let's go. Let me show you. No, I, dude, I'd definitely rather fight a giraffe, bro. I mean, I can't. Look at these motherfuckers. I think he's three feet off the ground with his tail. Look, he's, he is bouncing on his tail. He said, what's up? You see them? They square up. Oh. He's broad chest like this. Screenshot Look at this jacked motherfucker. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, you want to fight that? That's terrifying. You want to fight that? Yeah. No, but the thing is, what if I'm faster than him, though? I, realistically, I He hops, motherfucker. I could probably dodge him in with a one-two. No, I can take a king. No, you can't. No, you can't. What if I swap his tail from out from under him? He hit the ground, and then I'm tackling his ass. I'm going to RKO his ass. Watch this. I can take a kangaroo. You like, think, realistically, you, you, really, you think you can run from a kangaroo? No, I said I can sweep his tail off my as he's bounce, as he's you know he's doing his Conor McGregor show on me, as he's like flexing on me. They um, hop at 16 miles an hour. You can barely run 15. No, I didn't say I was gonna run from him. You did it first. Well, I can run away. I can that motherfucker, his, dude. He's like Conor McGregor should like show the audience. I'm gonna sweep his tail off my nerve and like judo kick his ass. He's done. I can take a kangaroo. Like realistically, we both know I can take yeah. a kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, this is the difference. You, you That's terrifying. I'm not I'm not, I'm not fighting. Look at his neck. This motherfucker? That's a weapon. I'm not fighting him. A kangaroo's a whole weapon! I, I can take a kangaroo. You're a fucking idiot. Every time. You pick the dumbest fucking animal to fight. Kangaroo. No, you can't. <laughs> motherfucker Squares up like this. Yeah. Realistically, if it was just me and you. We had nothing until we went gas with me. Could we survive a zombie No. Ups? Just me and you. No, your decisions are dumb. I mean... I can fight a kangaroo. I can take a kangaroo. I can take a lion. You have me on your team. We're not losing. I can take a kangaroo and a lion by, like, at the same time. So I can definitely take a zombie. You know how to shoot a gun? What? Do you know how to shoot a gun? Do I know how to shoot a gun? Yes. I know how to, I know how to shoot these you guns. You know... You're the whitest black person I've ever met. <laughs> It's no. not. It's like regular white too. It's not like redneck white where you know how to shoot shotguns like, and shit. Like fucking white, white like just straight up white. Oh my my credit score went up three points after I said that. Oh my god, you're like fucking, you're like New York white, fucking preppy little shit. Head. <laughs> Cause well, I, I, a I, zombie I, pulls up, you're like, if it's me or Chase, that motherfucker's gonna twelve gauge you, like train him. You're gonna be like, boom. You're gonna be like. He's gonna be a high fair across his house, and I'm gonna be like, let's go, nigga. Put him up. Yo, yeah, ass gonna get eight. Uh, no, no, this time it's ain't terrifying, but what if you. How are you not running? Once again, this is the South. You run up to a person down here, like that, getting shot. Okay, no, no but realistically, what's the first thing we're doing if we wear zombie apocalypse? The first thing. Going to Walmart. You. Okay, so there might be zombies there. What's our first plan, actually? What's the first hour we're going to? Guns. Guns? Yeah. Okay. Guns, then what? Food. Food? We're gonna wipe everything out? We're gonna get all the ice cream first. We're gonna have, what are we doing? Like, gonna go back. We're gonna take some vehicles or like what? If there's something there, yeah. We need to get gas? You didn't say that. They got a full gas thing, motherfucker. For one trip. We're in a zombie apocalypse now. They got gas. They got gas cans. Who? Walmart. That's what I said. We need to fill up, like, we need to have like th four. We need to take a tanker truck. It's just me and you, but we need to have two vehicles each, a stash vehicle each. Put somewhere full tank, full tank of gas with maybe some gas jugs in them. Two Hellcats hidden, cause zoom zoom. Yep, and that's what with six gas jugs in them each. Cause reserves. yeah, they get like twelve miles per gallon. A little bit of food in there. How about we steal a Tesla? Yeah, we don't even gotta drive. And we gotta get gas. How are we gonna charge it? Or no, we get find some solar panels and put them on top. Fuck yeah. Go. Wait, are we gonna start the zone packs forever? I thought you said we were gonna start it. I was like, no. <laughs> Uh, I like, started like at the plan, so we're gonna start getting ready. No, but we, we we could win. We could win. We could win. We could get the supercharger. We could get get the thing on top. We could we win the zombie apocalypse. We could be winners. Round six, fight. No, but I think that was a great episode. I think oh we're gonna survive. God. We got me on our team. I can take two lions at a time. So, bro, you can't even take fucking lotion to your knees. What the fuck you mean you can take a Damn lion? Damn it! Fuck that. <laughs> He's not wrong. Either. Ashy motherfucker. Damn it. I thought um, you were. I just called you white. White people know how to use lotion. 
he called me out in 6K. Fuck. Well, now I'm just, I'm just here exposed. <laughs> you just have your knees down the open for everybody to see, too. I'm like knee knocking at this point. I'm like shaking over here. Yeah, I mean, thinking about my knee. I'm like self conscious about my I knees. I like now. crackhead knees. I like good calves. I work the calves. Yeah, they're gonna see your balls in the video. <laughs> but they see that anyways. It's hanging out right now. Look, he's looking. No, you're white. It's hanging out. You're half white, so it's half small. What, what does half of it mean? Like the right side. Oh. Like the left side over here, he, the left side's over here like at least nine. It's like half of just like hanging out my left leg. Like the left side is like nine inches, the right side is like four. I'm like disproportionate. I just fucked up. I think that was a great episode. It was episode 11. I hope you boys did enjoy it. Everybody's having a great day. Hope you have a great week. Comment down below what you want to see next. Um, I hope you enjoyed our stupid topics. This nigga's dumb. We don't think I can beat a lion. He doesn't give me the kangaroo either for some reason. Fuck no. Even though I can super speed out for him, punch him. I don't I think you can beat a honey king. bun. I can start my factory and be the honey bun king. I'm going to. I'm gonna be salivating over honey buns. I'm gonna be the the Vegas of honey buns. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you boys enjoy. Have a great day. Peace. Peace.